In 2016, the highly destructive fall armyworm was reported for the first time in Africa. A year later, the ECP push pull technology became the first documented, readily available technology that could efficiently manage the pest in an environmentally friendly and cost effective manner. A recent study by ECP and Kiel University UK has established the scientific mechanisms through which the push pull technology conquers the fall armyworm. This research is underpinned by knowledge on insect to plant and insect to insect interactions. Insects use, mainly use olfactory cues to locate their host. In layman terms, uh, we can call them like a smell uh, that the plant produces, and insects are able to detect that smell uh, mainly through antenna uh, for their. Uh, long range as a long range cue but when they come in when they are close they also use a short range cues uh, usually using their antenna as well as their legs they are able to identify which plant is uh, very suitable to lay uh, their egg on. There are cues that the plant produce which we call them herbivore induced plant volatiles. These volatiles have uh, uh, two functions actually, uh, mainly they can uh, repel from insects from the plant point of view, they can repel the pest, at the same time they serve as a bodyguard, they call the natural enemies uh, to help. They are not used uh, for primary purpose functions of the plant, they are often induced by in, upon insect attack, so uh, it is not uh, very economical for the plant to continue producing constitutively when it is not in special need like it's being attacked and they, they need to protect itself from uh, insect pest. Um, so that is why we call them induced. So this change in the profile of volatiles uh, in the concentration and ratio of, this, of some of these compounds is what the insect utilizes to, to identify uh, the plant, uh, especially our natural enemies to identify the plant where their host pest is available. In 1997, ECP and partners made a major discovery in exploiting natural insect to plant and insect to insect interactions. They discovered that some plants are able to continuously produce defense compounds even in the absence of pest attack. Combining this knowledge with the age-old African tradition of intercropping, the center and partners developed the push-pull technology. The push-pull technology was originally developed for the control of stembola pests. It involves intercropping cereal crops with a plant, for example legumes of the Desmodium genus. The intercrop emits a blend of compounds that pushes away stem borers from the food crop. A grass, for instance Bracaria, is planted as a border crop that releases chemicals that attract and traps stem borers. In addition, Desmodium releases compounds that are able to control the parasitic striga weed. Currently, a climate smart push pool incorporates green leaf Desmodium as an intercrop and Bracaria CV Mulato too as a border crop. So the goal of our uh, current study was uh, what was the mechanism? How did the uh, push-pull system help in controlling fall army work? We started with behavioral studies. Uh, we had a series here, you have a, a maize crop where you have one of the intercrop desmodium, the green leaf uh, desmodium. When they prefer the order, even though they don't see uh, the plant, they usually go towards the other. So they move around, some of them land here, uh, some of them stay around here, but there is a clear uh, response in terms of landing and how close the moses will come to the other source. We also study the behavioral response of uh, Desmodium, which is used as uh, an intercrop. A very, very interesting observation was here. There was a significant reduction in the upwind, upwind movement of the moses and the landing, the number of moses landed. So most of the moses were pushed back. Some of them go, but the moment they sense the order from this modem, they were pushed back. So there is a significant repelling effect. Uh, we did only with desmodium orders 
as well as we combine the way you see it the modem and maze so when you also combine this modem order with maze the chemistry of the order also changes so that is a repellent it has a repellent effect similar to when you test uh, this modem only this study clearly showed indeed uh, why the moses are not laying egg on our uh, maze in push pull system is because of the repellent effect of the, the, the intercrops and a bit of diversion from the original push pull was when we tested the border crop we also tested the border crop for their response to uh, uh, the, what kind of response they elicit on the moses they also have similar repellent effect in a sense it looks like uh, push pull push push effect uh, in terms of when you consider the effect of the herbivore whole army worm uh, but we are uh, keeping the name as push pull because an interesting angle also came these border crops or the trap crops were attractive to the natural enemies of the pest even though the border crop was not attractive to the pest they were attractive to the natural enemies so the uh, pest is being pushed away from the push-pull system while the natural, the beneficiary natural enemies which attack the pest are also pulled. Our study, the empirical data from our lab as well as field study uh, clearly shows that push-pull system is effective in fighting fall armyworm. Uh, both the lab behavioral and the chemical analysis field studies, they all uh, complement and uh, give data for that. This knowledge will enable ECP and partners to implement an integrated pest management package for the fall armyworm, incorporating the push pull technology, natural enemies, biopesticides, and resistant cereal varieties. It also advances knowledge on insect behavior and deterrent approaches for pest control. Furthermore, the ability of push-pull to manage such a devastating and difficult pest as a fall armyworm clearly demonstrates its utility as a platform to address the, the many challenges in cereal livestock farming in Africa. ECP and partners intend to continue upscaling and disseminating the push-pull technology to enable more farmers across Africa to enjoy its numerous benefits.